Welcome. In front of me is a Realme C25Y and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. So obviously you can see that the phone I have right here is locked and I can unlock it either using the previously used pattern or well, using the Google account. And obviously you can also see that tiny little lock icon to signify that the device is FRP locked. So to begin the bypass we're simply going to back out to Wi-Fi connection page right here and I am connected to network as you can see. Uh, you can be as well. I don't think it actually matters much, uh, but I might be wrong. So for the purpose of this video, I do recommend you to connect as well. From here, I'm gonna select see all Wi-Fi networks and then scroll down where you'll find add new network. Once you tap on it, it brings up a keyboard and in here you have the uh, microphone icon. Once you tap on it, it wants to uh, have access to microphone. So counterintuitively, we're gonna select deny. We're gonna do that once again. And as you can see, the icon changed from solid uh, color to now being just an outline. And when you tap on it now, it brings up this window. So tap on allow, and this will take us to apps and notifications for Gboard. And in here, we're gonna select permissions. We're gonna tap on a search button and search for settings. And here, scroll all the way down. And we should see settings application somewhere here. It looks like it's right over here. Once you tap on it, you want to select open. And this obviously takes us to settings. And in here, we're going to scroll down a little bit. There, oh, actually, it's right at the top here to apps and notifications. You want to tap on app info and then tap on the three dots and show system. Once you have selected show system, scroll down to Google Play services. There we go, Google Play Services, tap on it. And from here, I believe we select just disable, but I will make sure just, just in case. So yeah, we're selecting disable and then disable app. Now, based on the guide that is provided in the description, uh, it tells us now to basically reboot the device. But what I will recommend you to do right now is actually wait uh, for me to verify that this is the correct way because there's two ways of actually going about it. And uh, from my experience, the reboot system does not actually work all the time. So I do recommend you to wait right now. I will test it. And if that does not work, I'll get back to basically right here and progress further just to show you what you need to do. But if it works, then all you need to do is just follow what I'm doing right now which is rebooting and then we should be able to skip the uh, or set up offline the device. So right now I'm progressing through the setup. I'm gonna select skip and then I'm gonna go back. And it looks like it actually works. So all you need to do uh, once you disable the Google Play services uh, is reboot the device, go to the setup, basically two pages forward and then one back. And that is because a uh, Wi-Fi page is being skipped when going forward if you're already connected. Um, so you want to basically go back to it. And from there, we're going to select set up offline, continue. Okay, so that seems to not work. Let's go back to seal Wi-Fi networks in this case. And then we're going to again go down, add new network, microphone, allow. Again, let's go to permissions, set, search button and type in settings. OK, 
Okay, so apparently based on the guide, we are now going back to app info, then going to show system, scrolling down back to Google, play services. There we go. Google Play Services. And you want to then select Enable and back out. Back to the Wi-Fi connection page right over here. So I'm going to click somewhere to close that window and then select Set Up Offline. Select Continue. And it worked. This seems to be a little bit more of a tedious uh, way of doing it. There is a simpler way, but I guess that's the guide. So there we go. So from here, we can finish up the setup. Now you want to basically skip as much as you can. It doesn't really matter what we set up right now. The device is technically still locked. So once we gain access to the home screen, you want to then simply jump to settings, scroll straight down to system, Reset options, erase all data, factory reset, confirm it, and then confirm it once again. This will begin a factory reset of the device, uh, which will bring you back to the setup screen of the device. Uh, but at that point, the device will be fully unlocked, so you can set it up however you want. Now, I'm not going to be going through the setup, or not the setup, but the, through the uh, factory reset, just because past pressing that button, there is no information that I will bring to you. It's just a simple setup, but that's all nothing to it so that's why i'm not gonna waste your time with it and that being said this is basically how you would bypass the google verification on this phone and if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and thanks for watching